What's up, guys? I just wanted to come on and just share my thoughts with this NAR settlement that happened uh, today. Well, they came out publicly and said this was happening, and nothing's finalized. It's going to be, it's been approved by NAR's uh, legal team, and it's going to go be filed in the courts in about two weeks. And then it still has to go through the federal court approval process. So there's a long way to go here. And there's a lot of uncertainty. I mean, there, honestly, there's there's still a lot of uncertainty. You know, the key thing is that they're decoupling the commissions. They're removing the buyer agent commission field out of MLS, which is what the DOJ has wanted the entire time. And, you know, it, there's a lot of uncertainty with exactly how that's going to go, like how that's going to be, how that's going to affect the way that you and I do business every single day, the way that we make money, our livelihood. And the DOJ's argument is that the buyers can't uh, negotiate their commissions. And they're right about that. I mean, the, 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 the buyer commission is basically negotiated between the listing agent and the seller figured into the agreement and then offered an advertised on MLS as what we've decided that we're going to pay your agent. And so for me, like I get that argument. And I also get the fact that the way that the system is right now is best for consumers because buyers get representation, even if they can't afford it out of their pockets. Now, a lot of people think that home prices are going to come down because of this settlement, uh, or, or if you decouple commissions, that home prices are going to come down. Okay, yeah, right. So what you're telling me is that the same sellers who are going after that extra 3%, they're just going to give it away and take 3% less on the on the asking price or the contract price because there's no buyer agent involved. No siree. <laughs> they're going to put that 3% right in their pocket. They're going to sell the property for as much as they can get for it, which is going to be appraised value, let's just say. And then the buyer is going to have to pay on top of that. If they want to pay, if they want representation, they're going to have to pay on top of that, which makes home ownership more expensive, right? They're, they're, they're really reversing what's happening. It's going to be more expensive unless they can get the seller to agree to pay the buyer agent commission. So that's where things get super confusing because right now it's figured into the deal. And then they're saying that they want us to, you know, put it in the offer when we offer to purchase to see if the seller will pay it if they aren't already offering, which let's face it, if they don't have to offer it, they're not going to offer it. So there's a lot going on here. I just want to talk about how massive of an opportunity this is. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I can tell you this. I'm excited. Why? Because I love change. I love opportunity. And I see nothing but massive, massive opportunity. I want you to be thinking about where the opportunity is. If you're sitting around scared, I want you to reverse that right this second. I want you to lean into this because we can't change the rules. And the rules are going to be the same for everybody. And so what I want to do is I want to know what the rules are so that I can go out there and win and go out there and crush, go out there and dominate and help people buy and sell. Our jobs are eight, as agents is to connect buyers and sellers. That's not going to change. I've all My mantra has always been be a single agent and be listing heavy. For the teams out there that have a lot of buyer agents, you're going to be okay. If you're a buyer agent, you're going to be okay. Why? Because you're going to switch to being more listing heavy. Yes, you will. And all the buyers are going to come to you. All the buyers that don't want representation, they don't want, they can't afford it. They don't want to pay for it. Whatever the case may be, they think they can do it on their own. What are they going to do? They're going to come straight to the listing agents to do those deals. And the listing agents are going to say, look, I'm representing the seller uh, to get them the highest price possible. I'm not representing you. I'm representing the seller. You understand that, right? Right. Go get your own representation. You don't want to? Okay, that's fine. I can write the contract for you as long as you realize I'm working for the seller to get them the most money possible. And I'm going to charge you three grand to write the contract. You can sign here if you're okay with that. And I'll get right to work and see what I can do to work this out. Now, in my mind, okay, that's how those conversations are going to go. We'll see again, a lot of uncertainty. I'm just theorizing here. I'm just throwing ideas out there of what I think might transpire. But at the end of the day, I think this is a huge, huge opportunity for the people that can go out there and get listings because you're going to cultivate buyers that you wouldn't have before that are what? Are going to turn into sellers when they sell those properties. You want to treat those buyers right. You want to treat them as well as you can and make sure that deal goes as smooth as you can without crossing any you know, agency lines, making sure that everything goes smooth for them because there's a good chance they're like, wow, look at the job they did for me when I wasn't even they weren't even representing me. I can't imagine how good of a job they're going to do if I if we actually hire them to represent us when we sell this house. So I listen, 
I have to look at this with an optimistic lens. I have to look at this, you know, very, very positively because, I mean, if you're thinking pessimistically, you're going to lose. And if you don't adapt, this is going to separate the boys from the men, the pros from the amateurs, the people that can actually go out here and negotiate deals. Again, I'm excited about this. I think that this is how often does something this big happen in an industry that changes the industry forever? That's what this is. This is forever change in the industry. The way that we do business as we know it is changing. And how often does something like that come along? Every, what, 20, 30, 40, 50 years in an industry? Yes, this is one of those moments. And I guarantee you that within these massive moments and massive changes in how we do business, Oh my God, there's going to be so much. You're, we're going to see agents come out with new models. We're going to see, you know, different companies pop up and we're going to be sitting back like, wow, why didn't we think of that? Because somebody saw massive opportunity. They went in there and took advantage of it. I believe that moving forward, that our businesses are going to be a million times more efficient. Why? Because we're not going to be in the situation where a buyer calls us and now we feel like we're obligated to go drive them around town all hours of the night, all over the city, dragging us all over the place. It's not going to happen anymore. Every single buyer that we work with is going to have signed a piece of paper saying that they're going to pay us. And if they don't sign it, we're not working for them, which creates what? Efficiency, where every person that you are working with, whether it's a buyer, whether it's a seller, has signed something saying that you're going to get paid if you get a deal done. I love that. It's also going to knock down a little bit more of the, using different agents and stuff like that, because when they sign that piece of paper, they're going to be signing an exclusive right to work with you. And this is what we're going to pay you. Um, so I think that that honestly, like I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this is a great thing. Now, here's another cool thing. I think that buyers, and th uh, this is what I think is going to happen, the shock of this into the general public, because buyers right now are accustomed to the way that we do business right now, which is it's figured into the deal. And they don't have to pay it out of pocket. It's figured into the deal. So when, when it hits them that now they have to pay out of pocket, they're going to say, I don't need an agent that bad. I can look up everything on Zillow. I can go, you know, call and make appointments to go see properties I want to go see. I don't need an agent. I'm not going to pay an agent all this money to open a few doors and find some properties for me. I can do that on my own. Little do they know that's not what, and we, we do that, but that's not, why that's not where our value is. And so I think this is great because you're going to have those buyers go out there, try to do it on their own and realize, you know what? I need an agent. So there's this, there's this cloud. Okay. There's this cloud over agents that we aren't needed. There's this cloud that all we do is unlock doors and flip lights on. And, you know, we just stand there and look pretty. And that cloud is partly our fault. We haven't, you know, we haven't illustrated, we haven't articulated our value that well. What's going to happen is, right, this is great because now I think that when the shock happens, most buyers are going to say, oh, I'm going to go do it on my own. I think you have about, let's just call it 80% of buyers now are going to go try to do it on their own for a while. And I think over the course of about three to five to seven years, I think that stat's going to reverse. And you're going to end up having 80% of buyers who pay for their own representation, who are glad to pay whatever that buyer agent is, is charging for representation. What better way to force the general public to understand what it is that we do, where our values lie as a real estate agent, than to let them go out and try it on their own. I mean, they ain't going to be nothing better than to sit back, sit back and watch that happen. Because that's what's going to happen. They're going to go try it on their own. They might be okay on one deal or two deal, but that third deal is going to be a going to be a doozy, and they're going to end up in court. And it's going to it's they're going to be like, why didn't I pay this? This is a the commission was a fraction of what I'm paying now. That's what's going to end up happening, and uh, you know, or you're just going to have a lot of frustration. It's like for sale by owners, they go out there, they try to do on their own, and they get frustrated before they even get a contract. They get frustrated with just showings and stuff. They throw the towel in. Then you got the for sale buyers that make it to the contract. They get the contract. They look at it. They're like, oh, <laughs> like they call an agent and say, hey, can you help me with this contract? I don't know what I'm looking at. I had that happen to me a couple of weeks ago. I talked about it on a video not too long ago. And uh, the, the guy called me and I was like, well, wait a minute. You're like, 
this is what I get paid for is consulting you and protecting you on the contract. That's what my value is. And now you want to try to save some money. I get it. You want to try to save some money. So you go out there, you try to sell it on your own, but then you get the contract. It's a confusing contract. It was a really weird offer they made. And now you want to consult with somebody who charges, you know, two, 3% to, 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 to have that consultation and help you through that deal and make sure everything goes smooth for you, but you don't want to pay nothing. You just want to call up and act like, Hey, we're buddies. Oh, uh, well, you know, can't you give me some advice? Uh, no, no, this advice that I give you, I get paid tens of thousands of dollars for to protect people on contracts and people are going to learn soon enough. Um, you know, as this thing transpires, when they go out there and try to do these deals on their own, because that's what's going to happen, but you're going to have a lot of buyers that go out there and are, are going to want to be unrepresented. They're going to go straight to the listing agent. So as a listing agent, you got to kind of be careful too, when you run into these buyers, because the ones that can afford and will pay for representation, they're going to have their own agent and you're not going to hear from them. We're going to hear from their agent. If you're in fact, the listing agent, but the ones that don't want to pay or don't or can't pay, they're going to come straight to you. And so you need to have, you need to be prepared, right? You need, you need to be up on your training, up on your education. You need to be, you need to up your skill level of exactly how to handle those situations, what you need to do, the conversations you need to have, the buyer agency agreements. You need to up your game and all, this is part of adapting to this new world that we're living in is you saying to yourself, okay, changes are happening not a problem. Let me go out here and learn the new rules to the game. Let me increase. Let me grow as a person. Let me, you know, personally develop myself into this next best version who can go out here and crush it in the new world because we're going to have agents who absolutely dominate and it's going to be fun to watch. So if you're worried about this again, I don't want you to be worried about this. I want you to lean into this and say, you know what? Yes. This is what I've been waiting on. I've needed something to shake me up, to wake me up, and uh, frankly, <laughs> put me in the game. This might be the thing that puts you in the game. If you're if you're if you're sitting back, you know, thinking about retreating from the market, retreating from the business. Ooh, it might it might not look pretty for you. It might not look pretty for you at all. And I highly discourage you from doing that. Please realize that this is nothing to be worried about. This is an optimistic moment. You, your job does not change at all. You're connecting buyers and sellers. The way we do it might might be altered a little bit and it's going to be interesting, but it's going to be fun. All right. So anyway, just want to do a quick video, give you my thoughts. Hope all is well. Let me know if you need anything whatsoever. Comment below. And let me know what you think about all of this. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.